Hey guys, it's Cheerio270 here, and I have some really, really good news. So I just made this DIY hamster cage, um, and I'm not completely finished with it yet because I still have to block off this part somehow because I don't want her to be able to get out right here. But if you can see, here's the cage. It is, I believe it's 390 square inches. Um, here's my hand in it. It's much better than her Critter Trail cage. Um, it's much bigger. It's on a bookshelf, if you can see. It's um, built on the one of the shelves of my bookshelf, and it took quite a long time to make. It was quite difficult, so I don't think I'll be making a tutorial unless you want me to. But um, here's what it looks like, and she's got plenty of space. Um, Cheerio is very happy in here. She has her wheel, her... I put a new food dish. I tied the water bowl, the water bottle right here. These ties, I used little headbands and I cut them, but it's probably not going to be permanent. Here's the cage doors. You open them, and I still have to put a zip tie right there, and I have to tie it. Um, so she can't get out. But I'm going to keep her in here for a couple of days and just see how she does. This is a much healthier place for her to live. Just because hamsters are supposed to have at least 360 square inches. And before she had 380, I think. And this is all, this is like 400, almost 400 square inches. Um, it's like 14 by 30, I think. Or 15 by 30 or something like that. Um, so it's quite, it's a quite larger cage. And she's quite happy in this cage. And I just am afraid that she'll be able to get out. Um, and don't worry, I'm going to fix that right whenever I end the video. I just have to put some, um, I'm going to put a mat over this so she can't get out. Um, but this is much better for her and it's much healthier. I think she'll be a lot happier in this cage. So I just wanted you guys, I wanted to let you guys know that her Critter Trail cage is not going to be used anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and put her in this one. Um, because her bin cage kind of broke so then she was just in her Critter Trail and that just wasn't working. I don't want her to be in some 230 square inch cage. That's just animal abuse. Um, I think critter trails are maybe not animal abuse, but they're just not very nice for hamsters. So this is much better. I like this. My dad probably won't be happy with this though, because it's gonna. It, my bookshelf is done because I had to hot glue a lot of this and had to bolt some of this in. I had to make this wood thing, um, and it was hard. So. Um, yeah, but I did this all by myself, and I think Cheerio is going to be very happy in this, so let me know what you think. Let me know if this is much better than the Critter Trail cage. It's, uh, I think, 390-something, almost 400 square inches, um, and, um, the bedding I used was, um, the brown stuff is KT paper bedding, and the white stuff is Carefresh, um, white paper bedding, and I scatter-fed her, and I have a new food dish. It's a glass one, um. So yeah, she's going to be quite happy in this. So thanks guys for watching. I'll let you know how it ends up working. Bye!